Introduction to Florida's Reemployment Assistance Process. This is part three, filing the claim. Okay, you have all your info ready to go from part two. You're gonna open up the internet and in your browser window, where you type the name of the website that you wanna go to, here's what you're gonna type. Connect dot myflorida.com just like that you don't need a www anything like that it should look like this there are some other websites out there some are real others are scams uh, that may want you to think you're going to unemployment this one is the safest quickest easiest way to start the process it's going to look like this and at the top, you will see a logo for Florida's Department of Economic Opportunity, or DEO. Uh, any letters you receive about your claim are going to come from there with that logo on it in black and white. Uh, if this is your first time filing for reemployment assistance, or your first time in over five years, you're going to click File a New Claim, as shown here. Uh, if you received any kind of benefits in the last 90 days from reemployment assistance, you'll sign in with your social security number and your PIN number. If it's been between 90 days and five years, just enter your social security number and then click forgot PIN as shown. Please make sure you read and understand all the directions. There'll be a little bit of time reading now. We'll save you tons of hassle later. Many, many times we have helped people who said they weren't told anything, didn't understand something when it really is all right here. Uh, a lot of these instructions helped us make these presentations that you're watching right now. From there, you're gonna start filling out the application screen by screen. Uh, it's like most other websites. Anytime you see a red asterisk, that's something that you have to fill out. If you need to go backwards, uh, make sure you click this previous button at the bottom. Don't use the back button like maybe you normally would on other sites. If you get a message like this, identity authentication failed, uh, please let us know. Uh, we may be able to help you quickly get the information required to DEO. It will ask if you want taxes taken out. Uh, taxes can be taken out now at the rate of 10% or you will receive all benefits and then owe taxes at tax time. You have to decide what works best for your situation. Here's an example. If you qualify for the max, which is $275, and you want taxes taken out, you get 90% of that, which works out to $247.50. You'll be asked the reason for separation from your employer. If it's anything other than a layoff, uh, be prepared to provide additional information and or explanation. At the end, you will be able to review your answers. Please, we strongly recommend that you do this. Uh, we've had people before that were denied because they answered a question in a way they did not mean to. So you have a chance here to make sure everything looks okay. If you need to modify anything, you can. But when you're ready, you will click Submit the Reemployment Assistance Benefit application at the top. Okay, this confirmation screen gives you some good information. It'll date stamp it for you basically, show you the time and date that you submitted your claim. Uh, depending on what kind of information you're able to provide, it can even tell you how much you may be expected to get if you qualify. And then at the very bottom, there's a date. Please make sure you write down this date. You will need it later, uh, as we will explain. That is the first date that you will be reporting your job searches to reemployment assistance, which you do right here on this website. Remember, about one week after filing the claim, a wage transcript and determination form will be mailed to you. You can also check the status of the claim by going back to the website. That's connect.myflorida.com. When you go back this time, you're going to be signing in with a so your social security number and a PIN that you made. 
and it's going to look like this and you're going to click where it says determination pending issue and decision summary that will show you the exact same determination letter that you would get in the mail it'll be right there on the website for various reasons you may be declared ineligible meaning you wouldn't receive any benefits if you're declared ineligible due to earnings or reasons for separation, you can file an appeal for that also right here on the website. Again, you would go to determination, pending issue and decision summary. Make sure you're in appeals view. Click on the issue. It'll tell you exactly what's going on, why it's being held up and then from there, if you want, you can choose to file an appeal. Again, that's if you're ineligible due to earnings or reason for separation. Do not appeal if you're told you're ineligible due to work registration or identity authentication. Work registration is signing up on Employ Florida. We can help you do that here. Uh, identity authentication, we can help you send proof of your identity to Tallahassee. Those are quick things to do rather than getting caught up into an appeal process that can take weeks and weeks. Okay, remember this date you wrote down on your confirmation screen. On this date, or no later than seven days after, you're gonna gather your job search records that we went over in part two, and then watch our final tutorial which is called requesting your benefit payments. It'll tell you exactly what to do next. After all of that, if you do need to contact Florida Reemployment Assistance for any reason, there's two ways to do it. You can contact them by phone. This is their number, 1-800-204-2418, or come to a Career Source Center and use our hotline. Either way, it's not going to be super quick. Uh, the hotline is slightly faster, but the phone number will give you prompts about what it is you need to do. We strongly recommend coming into our center if you do need to call them for any reason. There's also an online contact form, which basically works like email. Uh, that's the link right there. You can click to it, or you can get to it by going to floridajobs.org. Make sure you see the reemployment slide as shown. Go to connect information. And then contact the Office of Reemployment Assistance. And finally, there's the link for the Reemployment Assistance contact form, just like shown above. Thank you.